Hey, it's Fabo. Hell, Michelle. Haven't uh, talked on video in a while. There's so much I want to say and so many things I want to relate and so many things to do. But, you know, when you can't get out of bed, it's like, well, how do I do them? So, it's an amazing thing. Today I felt good, right? I got up, I took a shower like a normal person, I put on some clothes, I uh, had to fight with my insurance company about my prescriptions as usual. You know, even though they paid the last three times, they want to make sure that you'll still fight for what, what you need because that's what's been working as much as it can for Fibro. But I got to tell you guys, thank you for your comments, and I need more of them because we need to compile every response because there's so many of us that feel so bad every day, and they still think that uh, there's no fibromyalgia. Well, if there's not, let's give it a really good name. Can you guys come up with a name? Like, I feel like shit every day, or I can't get up every day. But you know what people really don't understand is when I feel good today, I think, God, Michelle, why aren't you working? Uh, why haven't you been doing all the things you've been doing? Your house is a wreck. Your partner must be mad, mad at you. Why haven't you done this? Why haven't you done that? I beat myself up more than anyone ever can. You know, it's like, I understand why people don't get it. I really do. Because I don't get it. I don't get why I hurt. I don't get why things feel like shit all the time. I just don't. I don't understand why my brain will work one day and it won't work the other day. I don't understand why one day it's just easier. It's like, okay, one day it's hard to brush my teeth. So I know you guys that don't understand that can't. You just can't. But then when you can brush your teeth, you wonder why it felt so hard the day before. You really do. And, you know, sometimes you just, with this disease, you got to, Throw your hands up in the air and you act like you just don't care or something. You got to do something to feel like you used to feel so you don't uh, get too depressed by it. And uh, our partners and our, our family, we don't want anything from you. We don't want your pity especially. We just, we want you to believe us, number one. Just believe that we're not pulling your leg when we can't get out of bed. You know what a day is not getting out of bed? It's um, it's one of those days you can lay in bed and you don't move and you can't even get up to get yourself a glass of water but the time flashes by because you can't move. I call those lost days and they happen. But um, I hate it and everybody else hates it that has this disease. And then the days that we can't get up, we wonder, just like you do, why we're not up. And then I make mistakes. Oh, you know, like, I go try to get a gig. I think, oh, I feel good today. I can make myself feel good on the day the gig's coming. The gig is here, and I don't do a very good job. Or, you know, my paperwork is up and around me, and I started painting pictures, and... I, I needed some help, and my my uh, partner, uh, I need to do books, so we thought we'd get some help. But when she started coming every day, I, I couldn't keep up with it, you know. I knew she was going to come, so that stress would heighten. And then the days I couldn't get up, I made myself get up. And then the fall down was three weeks worth of not getting up. So it's like... Yeah, we can make our get us ourselves get up and do things, and that's when most people see us. Hello, because that's when we go out, right? <laughs> so you think, well, hey, they look good last time. They put on a bit of weight, and the weight I gotta tell you is so irritating. Okay, I'm a big girl. I'm a big boned girl, but that's okay. I, you know, I dealt with that. But I gained thirty pounds without doing anything. Actually, it was when I went on one of those stupid. I think it was Neurontin. And the weight has never come off. And I love the people that write to me, have you tried this diet? Have you tried that? No, I've had fibromyalgia for 25 years, and I haven't researched it at all. I haven't tried any new diets, and I eat everything I want to. No, that's not the way it works. I'm, a, I'm an intelligent human being. That's Sophie Tucker. Sophie, shh. And uh, 
Uh, oh, I might have to go back. But anyway, I've tried diets. I've tried. The only thing that works is acupuncture. Got too expensive. It was like, you know, 50 bucks a week. So I do my own acupuncture. But I'm going to have to say bye for now because uh, Sophie Tucker and Gordy need uh, me to talk to them. But basically, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying to you guys, and I do ramble on. But I guess I do it because you give me these comments. And you tell me you feel better because someone understands. Well, I do. So, you know, write to me. Tell me your stories. Tell me when you first felt sick. Tell me about the asshole doctors you've been to, how many doctors you've been to. You know, it, it would be good if we got some stasis level on... Oops, I almost dropped the computer because my arms hurt. Ouch! Anyway. <laughs> so, everybody always wonders, you know... Well, why isn't there walks for fibromyalgia? There was a walk for AIDS, a walk for breast cancer. It's because we can't get around the block. Okay? Okay. So I wish I could. We can't, but we need to, need, need to get some funding. And I'm working on a project myself, and some friends have done things independently. But, you know, we got to get together and, and push it. This, this thing is like AIDS was in the 80s, and I know I'm going to get feedback for that, but... People say we don't die from it. Well, how do you know? Nobody uh, puts on the coroner's report, she died because she was in so much pain she killed herself. Or she died because she stopped taking care of herself because she was in so much pain. Or he died because uh, he just went off the road because nobody understood a man's pain with this. Men have it too. I mean, it's in my whole family where they want to admit it not or not. My grandmother had it. I have it. You have it. We don't want sympathy. We just want to get something done about it because we want our lives back. Understand? Okay. All right. Fabrahal Michelle, I better go. Bye. Thanks.